No holding in there. Hold no holding. Hard right hand by Hasim Rahman. Oh, 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 hello, sir. Both of you guys. Both of you guys keep him up. Let's go. You heard Obed Sullivan call the referee, sir. Yeah. What Every that, bit the, the ex-Marine. <laughs> Every bit right. the ex-Marine. Yeah, and the much more disciplined fighter as well. You notice that Sullivan is keeping that left hand down. Whether or not he's trying to foul no or whatever. Holding, no holding. But what's going to happen, what has been happening, uh, the right hand of Rockman will eventually get right. through. Come on, keep it clean. Left hook inside by Obed Sullivan as Rockman spread his hands apart coming in. Sullivan took advantage. Let him go. Let him go. More and more, it looks as though Wayne Kelly's going to have a busy evening trying to keep these two big men apart. I break. Rockman trying to double up. Quick left hook inside by Hasim Rockman to punctuate his attack in round number two. Nice and relaxed. All right. Deep breaths. Nice and relaxed. Okay. Deep breaths. Come on. Relax. Relax. Give me a deep breath. What you need to do now is pick up your jabs, but put them in quick doubles and step to it. When he jabs, you can come right over his jab with a straight right hand. When he jabs, you can slip the hook to your left and hit him with a hook. Put in the gym, okay? You need some water. There we go. Rockman throwing the right. Over the low left, as Ray go, pointed out. out, Rockman is fighting a more disciplined fight than he has in the past. That's the plan. He's got some things you can't teach, Ray. He's got youth, he's got strength, and he's got a lot of will. He, he appears to be quite patient, very much. He's taking his time, he's very composed. He's really working his left jab. saw the copy box numbers between rounds that indicated Rockman has thrown more than twice as many punches as Sullivan. Sullivan well aware that when he takes the risk of extending punches, Rockman is trying to counter over or under and often coming back with two shots rather than just one. Fighters attended junior college for a semester or two. Rockman's father is a computer engineer, a brother in medical school. Both bright, quick-witted young men. I would think that inside is more so to Rockman's favor because his punches are a lot shorter and a lot crispier, whereas that Sullivan's bet on the outside. Well, in addition to that, there's only a five-pound weight difference, but Rockman looks up close by far the stronger man. So it's hard to see any benefit for Sullivan in leaning in in course, close quarters against Hasid. Exactly, Jim, because you notice when he's outside, using his height and his his uh, his reach, he, he, uh, he outpoints Rockman a lot better. Rockman able to get off two shots inside there. Obed Sullivan trying to protect himself and not throwing much when they're inside. Sullivan needs to back away, try to work behind the jab and create space between himself and Hasim Rockman. This is a pretty fast pace for these guys, too, for heavyweights. 
So it'll be interesting to see whether or not Rock retires. You know, my guess, Ray, is, is that, is that Sullivan feels a little safer at close quarters because he's been getting hit with hard punches just like that when they're at a distance. But I think, yeah, I think you're right too, uh, Larry, but I would think that his corner would tell him to back away and to use that uh, height and reach advantage. That punch. Much of the third round being fought at close quarters. There's a left right one two by Rockman that wobbles Sullivan as the seconds tick away in the third. And there's a cut to over the uh, left eye of Sullivan. Yep. Good call, Ray Leonard. Okay, now, don't get excited. Don't get excited. You got the guy on the roll. We gotta stay big. We gotta stay with our business now, okay? Straight one, two, just basic stuff, Rock, okay? You're stepping up nice with that jab, son. That's what you gotta do, okay? Don't get crazy on us now. Basic fundamentals, huh? Okay? And Straight still one, to two. come tonight, the second of our two main events, featuring New York's own Lou Savarese. Split decision loser earlier this year against George Foreman in a fight that Savarese and his manager trainer Tommy Gallagher are convinced they should have won against the former David Izonrite, now fighting the Larry Merchant's great glee as David Izon. Just when I had, had his name almost nailed. Tommy Brooks told Rockman not to go crazy. Frankly, I'd like to see him get a little crazy once in a while during the round. I think what he needs to do, Larry, is just to remain aggressive because that last round, he really rocked Sullivan with that overhand right. Many, many people in the boxing world felt that Sullivan would win this fight uh, because of his experience, because Rockman is a more, is a cruder fighter. Uh, but it's the kind of fight the young, strong guy will assert himself in if he's got the real stuff. And the way he's firing the jab and moving behind it, taking advantage of Sullivan at close quarters, landing right hands over the top, he's got everything going his way at this stage of the fight. He definitely does. In fact, he's very relaxed. If you notice a break. Step uh, back. the way he's approaching his fight, Rockman is extremely loose, very confident, very confident. Sullivan able to step in and land the left hook as Rockman was coming toward him. But there have been too few of those moments for Obit Sullivan. Ray, do you see why George would have, George Foreman would have pulled out of his scheduled fight with Rockman and, and taken Sh Shannon Briggs instead? What do you see in let him go, let Rockman him go, that would concern a big George? Well, Rockman is a very aggressive. He has a decent, a pretty good left jab. Right. And uh, I think that um, he can prove to be a tough fight for anyone. On the other hand, while we're covering Rockman with glory here in this 10-round fight, you certainly can't overlook the possibility that Sullivan, with his greater experience and with his perhaps greater technical capability, could find a way to reverse things in the closing stages of the fight. No, 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 if Rockman tires, and let me correct myself, 12-round fight, not a 10-round fight, so plenty of time left for Sullivan to get it going his way. You need to see that the execution of left jab by Rockman is so straight, so powerful. It knocks the head back of Sullivan. But I don't, I don't want to discount uh, what Sullivan is trying to do because it's a long way for the uh, end of the uh, 12th round. Yep. This is a 12-round fight. Savarese versus Izon will be a 10-round fight. All heavyweights here on Boxing After Dark from the Apollo. Let him go. Let him go. Come on, guys. No hold. Both of you guys. Two good left hooks by Sullivan. One to the head, one to the body. starting to find more and more opportunities to sneak in that left hook. Yeah, and just as we were uh, singing the songs of Rockman, Sullivan had his best round. Yep. 
Relax. Give me your breathing. Get it up there. Deep breath. Deep breath, three count. Deep breath, three count. Okay. Now, we're going to make a move this round. Stay relaxed and walk at him. Walk in on defense, catching punches and slipping. I do not want that left hand down. I want it up at your side okay. because he's tying it up on the inside. Don't give it to him. I want it where you can step back and hook and step back and uppercut. Touch him quick. Don't let him grab you. If he grabs you, pull him. But turn this though, okay? Back this guy up with that jab. Okay. He'll be right there for the right hand. Throw it, throw it straight, right down the pipe like we worked on in the gym, okay? Okay. When you're on the inside, start throwing that uppercut. From both sides. Seconds all right? out. All right, champ. Let's go to work. I want to see it now, all right? Let's go. Seconds out. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Sullivan after the triple jab, sudden burst of energy.